Hello everyone, we have here exponential equation. 2 to the power of x plus 3 plus 2 to the power of x equals 9 over 8. And in here we're solving for the value of x. And in this equation, if you notice, you have two terms, uh, exponential terms, uh, bearing the variable exponent x. You have two of those, so our aim here is to combine at least. To at least combine those uh, terms if we can. And uh, factor out, and then we can solve for the variable x. Alright, so let's start solving. So we have 2 to the power of x plus 3 plus 2 to the power of x equals 9 over 8. And we have here now 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of x equals 9 over 8. And here in the left term of the equation, we use the uh, exponent rule. That is exponent with product rule. That's on the formula a to the power of n times a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n. We ended up adding the exponent. And in here, in the left term, we use the opposite. From this situation to this situation, from here to here. All right, so from here, if you know this, we have 2 to the power of x to the power of x is common. So we can factor that out now. This is 2 to the power of x times the quantity 2 cubed plus factoring out 2 to the power of x becomes 1. And the right hand side is a 9 over 8. So from here, we can isolate the uh, variable by itself. The exponential term is 2x by itself. Now, so all we have to do is divide this by this quantity, 2 to the power of cube plus 1. Same thing on the right side. So ended up this canceling, 1. So 2 to the power of x equals 9 divided by 8 all over 2 to the power of 3 plus 1. Simplifying the uh, denominator of this, so this is now 2 cubed plus 1 is equal to 2 cubed is 8 plus 1 is 9. So the denominator is 9. So the equation now becomes 2 to the power of x is equal to 9 divided by 8 or divided by 9. Or this can be written the same way as 9 over 8 all divided by 9 divided by 1. And now replacing the division into multiplication and transposing this part right here. The numerator and the denominator. Or we're getting, say, a reciprocal of those. So that is now 9 divided by 8 times 1 over 9 is equal to 9 cancels. The answer now is 1 over 8. So from here, 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 over 8. So we have just isolated the exponential with the variable, 2 to the power of x. So now we can solve for the value of x. And the right hand side can be simplified as 1 over 2 to the power of 3, since 2 to the power of 3 is 8. And the equation now becomes 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 over 2 to the power of 3. The right hand side can be written the same way as 2 to the power of 3. That's negative, negative exponent. So in here we're employing the exponent formula. That's negative exponent uh, formula that is a raised to m is equal to 1 over a raised to negative m or the same way as a negative m is equal to 1 over a to the positive m. So the equation now becomes 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the negative 3 power. And we, we have the same base. So from the uh, exponent formula again, a to the power of b 
is equal to a to the power of c. Same base, that means we conclude that the exponent must be the same, b is equal to c. So, so now we're equating the exponent, so therefore x equals negative 3. So this is our answer. If we were to check our answer, we have to substitute this value of x to the original equation. 2 to the power of x plus 3 plus 2 to the power of x equals 9 over 8. So now we're checking our answer. 2 to the power of x plus 3 is neg x is negative 3, so negative 3 plus 3 plus 2 to the power of negative 3 is 9 over 8. From here, 2 to the power of negative 3 plus 3 is 0 plus 2 to the power of negative 3 is equivalent to 1 over 8 and is this equal to 9 over 8? So from here we simplify the left hand side of the equation 2 to the power of 0 is 1 plus 1 over 8 and this is equal to the same way written as 1 can be written the same way as multiplying it by 8 over 8 so this is now 8 divided by 8 plus 1 over 8 and is this equal to 9 over 8 left hand side we're adding it up 8 plus 1 is 9 the denominator is 8 is equal to 9 over 8 so this confirms our answer x negative 3 is correct this just confirms our answer x is negative 3 and so that's all for now and for those new to my channel I would appreciate it if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much. I will see you on the next one. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.